Good morning, everybody. And it's another very early morning. I've got a full of things. Um, we're going to Wesco training again today. I'm so excited. just gone half past five in the morning and um, yeah like I say we're going Wesco training and it is with none other than the legend who is a Sir Mark Todd so <laughs> having a cross-country lesson with Mark Todd I mean goodness me oh god that's not got my laptop it's a Tuesday so of course I have brought my work laptop with me so I can do a bit of work while dearest mum does a little bit of driving for us bless her um I need to go get the lorry keys and um yeah so I'm so excited we have also got um what have we got a nutrition session which will be interesting to get on the scales for the ponies and a media and marketing training which i also think will be very very interesting um to see what we learn so we're taking donut today last time when i had my lesson with nicola it was with maggie maggie's actually had a couple of weeks off she's had just gone two weeks off because she banged her legs out cross-country schooling and I was a bit worried about, um, about her legs. So we got them scanned. There was inflammation and bruising, but no sign of any actual damage. And we've had them scanned again yesterday. And I'm very pleased to report that there is definitely not any damage and all of the inflammation has gone down now. So that is fantastic. She's able to crack on. She won't have lost much fitness in two weeks but I wasn't about to fluke anything and book her on to a training for the day after a scan and also she kind of needs a bit, a bit of work before she was to go for a lesson so Donut has stepped stepped up and he is very excited to go and have a lesson with Mark Todd and um yeah we had the opportunity of having another lesson today but actually I'm house sitting, so I need to be able to get back for the doggies, for the house. Um, so we're not doing that. Right then, I've got the donutty. I just need to drop his rug off. I've just given everybody else breakfast. He can have breakfast after he's finished. Alright then, you can see us having a bit of a warm up now. Um, Donut was feeling incredibly fresh, incredibly happy to be out getting on with the job. He was quite spooky, he felt a lot spookier than he looked, but he was of course still jumping because it is what he loves. And Mark was just getting us to string a few fences together here and there. We popped over a couple of fences before this stage and now we were getting on to doing a bit more of a course. So then we repeated exactly the same course again and he just wanted me to focus on my balance and rhythm and sort of 
not use as much space as I used in my first round. He said it was almost like I was avoiding the fences. I was using so much space. So I thought, okay, then I'll start turning inside the fences a little bit. And it gave him less chance to take a hold and start running. And he just focused a little bit better, which was good. And the whole time he was just encouraging me to main Maintain my control and donuts balance and rhythm so then we made it a little bit more technical we popped over a bit of a warm-up fence because we'd been standing while the others were jumping and then we were coming to jump up two fences so he said with steps don't panic don't get flustered just imagine they're a double just a normal jump jumps rather than running them off their stride and I was really pleased with how he jumped that even though he went a bit spooky in the middle he still cracked on and then we jumped the middle log down the slope to two skinnies so he was quite clever and cautious there but kept going and then he was very straight down to the two skinnies a bit speedy and I really leant back because we had to do that turn at the end so we'll take a look at that again so obviously we popped the um just warm up fence really neatly then Mark wanted us to get out of the saddle into a bit of a light seat in between fences and then as we approached our fences get sat back down in the saddle so we were able to support them. So when he had that bit of a spook I was there ready to put my leg on. Here I tried to maintain the canter but you could see Donut notice the drop away so he was like I'm just gonna have a little trot mum and then just steadily cautiously went down there. Then he locked onto his fences and I was worried about that second turn. So I leant back and turned my shoulders in order to make sure that I got it. I also used my outside leg and outside rein to um, support him in the turn and help him maintain the balance. We then went on to doing it in reverse um, without the turn fence. So we just did a straight line here and I got a lovely shot in and he just jumped through this line really beautifully. I was very pleased with it and then we came down the two steps and then we were going to come to the skinny barrels so you can take a look as we do it so clever little trot and pop for him as he went through here and then he came for the barrels and I sat him up and I thought he'd locked on and he sped up a little bit and then he went uh no I'm not locked on actually so then Mark rightly informed me that I'd gone too fast, which I would very much so agree with. So then here he's helping me go through this and he said, just go slow. So then we popped this first one and I attempted the second, but Donut just went, uh, no. So we went right back to baby stuff, trot and pop. And you can see Donny just doesn't get it. At the stage when I tell him, no, you can't just carry on running to the side. And I just asked him for a halt. He just had a meltdown and did these little twizzle around so then mark was just like slowly 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 these are little enough to jump but you can just see the misunderstanding on his face where he's like mom i don't get it i really don't get it so i think we tried once more just to see how he went so we just wanted a trot that he could jump out of but slow and straight and all i was trying to do was keep him straight and I, I was doing a pretty good job at not letting him run past. I didn't want to let him learn a habit. And here Mark was just looking for some poles. And I said, I reckon the flag poles would do enough. So there they really helped me keep him straight. And at this stage, I was like, right, he's going to go now. He's getting to this stage where he is ready. So I gave him a little nudge nudge as a gentle reminder that we need to kind of crack on. So then I brought him around again in trot and you can just see he went, yes, mom, I've got it and I'm on side for you. So then from there, we then worked on repetition and he got lots of praise for doing it right and for understanding. And I just came and trotted it again just to say here we go this is easy this is fun look and he was like oh yeah I like jumping I've just remembered and now I know I can fit between that single barrel and the flags this all seems good so then we added in the first one again and we're just coming That's round fine. to it and you'll see how much straighter obviously I went back to basics and we just trotted it and there's none of that wiggling side to side that we had at the beginning when he didn't understand and he strung the two together really well 
Mark then wanted us to canter them both and maintain the rhythm, not get any quicker in between the fence, just keep the control and the rhythm and the straightness. And I think it's really lovely to see the progress where Donuts just learnt and gone, yes, I've got it, I understand. So here's a useful piece of advice from Mark. When I'm coming into a, a narrow control fence, I would be sacked much earlier so that I know that I've got the horse between my leg and hand. We then finished off with a play in the water, which Donny was fantastic with. He jumps off here, and do you notice those ducks flying up? Um, I hadn't even noticed until the photographer pointed it out later on. And then we popped out onto the grass to go and use the other water complex, which again, he was fantastic with. And Mark was just wanting us to maintain the control the whole time. We came and looped around over here. I just trotted because um, I'd taken my studs out when I realised we were on a surface, so I didn't want him to slip and slide on the ground. Trotted off the drop and then a little canter out and up over the house. And he was such a good boy. Really, really proud of him. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. There we go, that is our jumping lesson done. We found it so useful and it highlighted a few things that Donny needs to improve on so we can work on. And Mark highlighted for me that I need to um, sit a bit quieter when he's backing off, not get in there like all guns blazing and actually just sit and trust he's gonna jump and he's having a look instead. So what I forgot to mention is that Today we're sharing the training day with the four and five star pathway members. So there's different levels. I'm on the grassroots pathway and then there's a two star, three star pathway, I think, and a four and five star pathway. So the four and five star people are here. Um, one of the girls in our group, she's a four star rider, I think. Um, so it's really good. I'm just gonna grab a mouthful of breakfast and then I've got, <laughs> Bummy, wanting some breakfast too. I've got um, media and marketing training at 11 and we've got a nutrition session for donuts so we can get him on the scales again at two. And in the meantime, I'd like to go and have a nosy at what um, everybody on the higher pathway are doing training wise. It's really good opportunity to learn. And also let's just appreciate mum's work setup going on here two laptops <laughs> she's done that so that she can come with me today so i'm not by myself so nutty is just having a snooze out here and i'll pop him on the lorry before i go off to do my media and marketing training you good boy he says i'm very tired now mum and he'll just go in there i've put loads of bedding in this morning so he can have a nice snooze oh and i've got him some breakfast up here Nice sloppy one because he's refusing to drink plain water. Like a child, he'll only drink squash, aren't you? <laughs> and just like that, we're home with a nutty on board. He was a very good boy and I had some really super sessions with um, 
the media and marketing section. It was just really nice to have such a good chat. Oh, look at that strength, left arm and all. Um, so yeah, and then we got down at Wade, which was very good because he's gained weight. Um, comment below what you think he weighed and I don't know what the prize is. If you guess it right, the prize is the satisfaction of knowing you've won. That, that would be enough for me to have a guess. So please, guess how much you think Donutty weighed. And a start for it is that he weighed more than he weighed last time. So if you're wanting a bit of a guide, then take a look at my last Wesco vlog, which was, no, my first Wesco vlog, actually. Um, I'll link it up at the top and yeah so i'm gonna get him offloaded now it's only about half past four so we'll quickly offload him get rid of put all the tack away clean out the back good boy obviously get him turned out and i'm going to go do some work and ride my miss maggie and titan so no rest for the wicked anyway i hope you enjoyed guys thanks so much for watching Bye.